Hey, hello everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works, and I am glad that you stopped in to make a batch of soap with me. Um, today I'm going to be using a fragrance that is so far outside of my normal realm of um, fragrances, I'm really hoping that I don't regret doing it. <laughs> but what I have done here is a custom blend. My favorite um, sandalwood fragrance is the Hawaiian Sandalwood by Rustic Essentials. And so um, I have three parts um, sandalwood to one part of fresh cut rose. So this is going to be a sandalwood rose soap. This is going to be an all vegan soap. And um, let me go over what colors I have for this. So I have a very deep pink, almost red. This is the Really Red Mica by Nurture Soap. The rest of the colors I'm using are from Micas and more. This is um, a very beautiful lavender color. And this reminds me of the Sterling Silver Rose. That's my favorite rose. It's that very pale lavender and they smell so good. So that's why I picked that one. And then here I have a really um, light, kind of medium pink. So these are my colors for the rose. Then here I have a very beautiful light brown. This is a copper. Um, I forget the name, the exact name of it, but this is the copper color. And then um, for accent, I'm going to have the smallest amount of a kind of light green. This is apple green. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using for this soap. And I think it's going to be really pretty for, um, you know, just a rose sandalwood soap. So... That is what I have going on there. I'm going to be using my tall and skinny mold. I'm still debating what kind of pour to do. So I'm thinking about that. I'm going to go ahead and get my additives blended. And I'm going to go ahead and get my lye water poured in here. So this recipe is avocado oil, olive oil, uh, coconut oil, babasu oil, grape seed, shea butter, and castor. And I'm going to be adding um, coconut milk as usual. I always add coconut milk at, um, when I'm coming to trace or when I'm emulsifying. I did not use Tessa Silk in this recipe because it's, you know, from a silkworm. So I wanted it to be a true, total vegan soap with no... Uh, additives from any, you know, animal or living creature. So no goat milk powder and no silk. And this one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this emulsified and add my coconut milk. Okay, so I have this to a nice emulsification. This recipe is one of my most fluid recipes. Um, you would really have to sit here and stick blend for a really long time to get it to any kind of a trace. And the reason I picked my very um, fluid recipe is because I have never worked with rose um, fragrance oil before. I don't know, you know, being a floral, I don't know um, how it's going to do as far as acceleration. So. I figured I would play it safe and just get my very fluid um, fluid batter to hopefully counteract any acceleration that it may want to, to cause. So we'll see if that is going to happen. So I'll go ahead and get my cuts set up for my colors. I have quite a few colors here. <coughs> And I do want to have a lot of white, so even though I have a lot of colors, I don't want to use tons of batter. Like the green here, I just want a little bit. Very little.
Hey everybody, so you can see here these are my rose and sandalwood colors. I think this is going to be very appropriate for um, the scent and the theme of this soap. Um, I got a very nice creamy white color. So now all that's left to do is test out this fragrance oil and see um, if it's going to be one to cause me any issues with, um, you know, the rose fragrance. I know the sandalwood um, is not an issue. So if there's any problems, it's going to be due to the rose. I'm going to start with a little bit here in this brown. Not seeing any issues. It's like, you know, ricing or anything. It's staying very fluid. It wasn't an instant acceleration. Um, so that's, that's good news. So I think we're going to be okay here. And that's really really good. I'm happy about that. Okay, so, um, wow, this is extremely fluid batter. So the rose had no effect whatsoever, so it's really, really awesome. Um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do a hanger swirl. Oops, wrong way. I'll make sure you guys can see this. Alright, so oh, I so wish you guys could smell this. The Hawaiian sandalwood is just amazing. Like I said, it's from Rustic Essentials. If you're a sandalwood fan, you really need to get this um, sandalwood fragrance. It's the best one that I have ever found. It is gorgeous. It mixes so good with all kinds of different fragrances. It's just, it's a really, really nice one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this. Perfect consistency to get those nice, uniform, uh, really thin striping. Just right.
Okay, everybody. So I am got all of my um, soap in here, all striped. I'm gonna go ahead with my hanger swirl. Um, I'm just gonna go down. Don't really have any sort of a plan. Just gonna kind of do whatever feels right. And that right there felt just about right. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I just get going and I can't stop. <laughs> Sometimes I go overboard. But um, I think that right there should be okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and load up the rest of um, my soap on the top here. And then we will try to figure out what we want to do for the top of this soap. Everything up here in um, on the mold on the top how I wanted it it's pretty full so it's kind of going over the sides a little bit um, that's okay I can always clean it up what I'm gonna do um, with this is I have this little stick it's just like a, a little uh, skewer <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go in and do some, um, just kind of pull the colors together. A little swirl in action. Get a little bit over here. Bit of that green. And anywhere where there's like just a really solid chunk, I'll try to go in and pull a little extra color in like this green here. Okay, but I don't want to mess with it too much because then I'll start really uh, messing up the, you know, muddying up the colors. So I think that's um, good right there. I'm happy with the way that that looks. Um, I'm just going to do one more little quick cleanup of the edge. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you down so you can see the pattern. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, just because I really don't want to mess it up. So let me zoom over and get you a good look. Okay, so that is how the top looks. I am really happy with um, the way that that turned out. So tomorrow I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to give this a cut and we'll find out how we did this time. See you then. Okay, everybody, here we are back, and I'm ready to cut into this sandalwood and rose soap. Um, you can see from the top, I um, went ahead and left it as it was. I did not um, continue to swirl it, and I'm really happy with the way that the top turned out. I think the colors, the pattern, um, everything about it, I absolutely love. So, um, hopefully, I like the swirl that I got on the inside. Now, the fragrance today... Um, this is sandalwood and rose and like I said I did like three parts sandalwood to one part rose and I am so glad that I didn't put any more rose because it is actually pretty strong um, you can definitely smell that coming through all of that sandalwood so um, I'm gonna be very careful when I post this one up in my shop to let people know in the description that this um, definitely 
is a rose, you know, scented soap. It um, it's actually coming through, uh, coming through, pretty strong. But you know, for people who do like the rose scents, this is a really nice, um, like a, a real fresh cut rose. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what we have on the inside. Hope it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Oh, wow. It is so neat. I was worried about this one, but look at that beautiful pattern. Oh, I love the brown. I was, I actually was feeling kind of regretful that I had added the brown. I thought that it would have been um, just fine if I would have had just the pink and the <clears throat> purples. But now that I see the brown in there, I really like it. I think it sets all those other colors off just beautiful. And it represents the sandalwood. All right, let's see what else we have in here as we keep cutting. That first cut was really pretty pattern. Oh, I absolutely love that. That is so cool. And then the top. It'll be interesting to see how this one cures out. Right now, like I said, um, it's a very strongly scented soap. Um, you know, I think rose is always an overpowering fragrance, but it'll be interesting to see how it mellows over the next um, four weeks. <clears throat> I hope that it does kind of mellow out, and I hope that the sandalwood kind of, you know, comes back a little bit more, because to me, it's very rosy. I am really very happy with um, the swirl and the pattern on the inside. It's just right. That was just, just what I was hoping for. I've kind of had some um, interesting soaps lately. I've, I've kind of felt like off, you know, just not getting my, my normal, you know, my normal um, <clears throat> swirls and I just felt kind of like off my game. So I'm happy that this one turned out nice. Very pretty in the top. I love how you can see all the colors like in the little, like they look like little vines, like little leaves coming off. That is so cool that you can really see like all the different colors in the little stripe. It's really very neat. I hope that you can see the intricate pattern through the, through the uh, camera. I know that there's a lot of detail that's lost, you know. Hopefully you guys can see <clears throat> how this is looking. So pretty. The soap is um, really soft right now. Softer than it usually is. Not quite sure why, why that happens. I could have added a little bit more coconut milk, um, you know, like the liquid coconut milk that I add at Trace. <clears throat> I think I may have used a little bit more, just a just a tad, but a, a little bit more. So I think that would probably have something to do with it. That, um, the really bright pink, um, in this, I think it was the, 
Really Red Mica by, by Nurture Soap. Um, normally when I use it, I just get a hot pink. This is the darkest. I mean, it's still a hot pink. It's not red, but this is the darkest and the closest to red I've ever got this one. But I'm, I love this color. It's perfect. Perfect. It was what, exactly what I was going for. All right, I'm coming into the last cut here. And, ooh, the back looks neat. I always, I know you guys have heard me say <clears throat> a million times that my hanger's not long enough to reach the end. So this is what it looks like. But even that is cool. Look at that. Very psychedelic. Okay, so I'm extremely, extremely happy with the way that this um, sandalwood rose soap has turned out. I think the swirl and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I um, will give you guys an update on how this scent does over the cure. And I thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.